I'm going to show you how to create your own customized LinkedIn ads dashboard. Uh, so I am in, let me clear this off. I am in a LinkedIn ads account and over here is where you have all the default ones uh, where you can do performance, engagement, conversion leads, et cetera, video, uh, sponsored messaging. But if you wanted to create your own, you would come down to customize columns and you'd be taken to this screen. So in this one, I'm going to do um, add a view and I'm going to say uh, Justin's test, Whew, such a good name. Um, and then over here, you're going to basically, you can curate um, what you want over there. So, and then anything you check on here will get sent over there. So let me just show you the basics real quick. Some of you just take the first five seconds and you're like, I got it. I don't need you anymore. So you could click whatever you want here and then you can organize them here. And whatever's top is gonna show up first on the left. So click all the ones you want here and then organize them from top to bottom the way you want them to appear from left to right. So let me show you uh, if that makes sense. So daily spend bid, I just randomly picked. This is not um, a dashboard I recommend and hit update. And then look, so it's gonna, everything from top to left, top down is gonna show from left to right. So that is a really ugly dashboard. So I'm actually gonna go in and fix that. Um, ooh, does it let me? Yeah, so I can come in here, Justin's test, I can redo it. So here's what I would recommend too when you're making it is, uh, let me clear off this crap. I don't need this. Ugh. Okay, is here's what I would do. Um, status, because it tells you if it's on or off. Uh, key result, I actually like. Start date is questionable. I can usually just click into performance and see, you know, change the time frame and click performance and I can see when the ad's been started. So I don't necessarily need that cluttering up my page. Um, I do like uh, average daily spend because that helps me control pace. Um, or actually, no, daily budget um, spent. I mean, I need to know how much I've actually spent. And then I like to go impressions, clicks, um, cost per click. I have CPM on there usually, but it's usually not, you know, one of my top. So I'll, I'll include it and I reach, I absolutely love. So I'm going to do a separate, oh, and say hi to my dog. I'm going to do, and that's Basil. He's such a faithful dog. Usually he's in here. Um, so reach is one of my favorite metrics. I, I have a, probably another video just on that average frequency. Oh, that's actually a good one. Oh, Average frequency and reach. Average frequency for sure you want. And reach is how many unique people hit um, see your ads. You Average frequency is how many times the average person in a campaign sees an ad from that campaign. So it's really useful information, especially in determining how many creatives you should have in that campaign. Um, average click-through rate. Yes, of course. Um, I usually would prefer not to have a lot of these social ones on my main dashboard if I want to see those. Um, like I might wanna see just follows because I do have like follower campaigns and maybe comments, just so I know if there's one I need to jump in and uh, do something with, but I'm I'm usually tracking like social engagements on a, I could use their standard one. Uh, conversions, of course. In fact, I would take conversions then and I would throw it somewhere up here. Maybe, maybe do clicks, cost per click, conversions, um, and I would do conversion rate and cost per conversion, but I would book, con I would group those together. So you have, you get, you get the idea though. So at this point, if you're still watching, now you're just curious, like what I would set up. Um, I'll try to remember what I set up and then I'll just show you my actual dashboard. So we'll see how close I came to it. Um, so conversion, cost per conversion, but you see how like I would group some of these up, um, and some of them, like, I would push CPM down further just because it's not it's not going to be the main thing that I really care about, total conversion value. So this I usually actually put up here. So I would say I would have conversions, and I probably have conversion value. Or I actually put it next to spent, I think, because think about that. You have you have how much you've spent, and you have the, con the value of the conversions you've created from that spend right next to each other. You shouldn't have to look... And, and scroll through multiple screens to to see your ROI, which is apparently, which is really what that is, which is ROI, return on ad spend, leads. So I'm actually okay with the return on ad spend being way back, way at the bottom, but I would move leads maybe right after, 
maybe after a cost per conversion and then same with cost per per lead um i'm iffy about whether i want to do the lead form opens it is a good indicator if your if your conversion rate on the lead gen forms is low knowing what the open rate is or how many are opening compared to how many submitting that's a really good you know could be a bottleneck um this i usually don't use and I usually would just use the standard video um, default one if I want to just look at my videos. I wouldn't put that on my main one sponsored. So this would, oh, so I would say that I would put, where's the other one? I would put company page visits and landing page visits on my main one. Um, but clicks to landing page, clicks to LinkedIn page. So I would put those on my main one. So let's just hit update on that. And so this is what it would look like. And let's change this so you can see maybe separate. So you would have your spent, you would have your conversion value, you would have, and then, you know, impressions, clicks, cost per click, conversions, cost per conversion. So it's a pretty decent little um, little board. Let's see what I actually went with. This is the main one I use. So spent, uh, conversion value, so yeah, key metrics. So key metrics will show usually on different screens. Um, so if I go back here, it'll show here. So it'll show, and it shows in like a little time wave, which is actually pretty cool. So that is the basics of how to create a customized LinkedIn ads dashboard. Um, if you're confused about some of these terms, probably in the next five minutes, I'm also going to create one that's a video that just goes over the LinkedIn ad terms. So if that's what you're looking for, just look for that because it's probably out 